Uh, hi, my name is uh, Dr. Saad Hanan, and I matched at uh, LSU Alexandria for family medicine. I'm from Pakistan originally. Uh, at the age of seven, I believe, I moved to Canada. I grew up there my whole life. I uh, did an undergrad at Brock University. Um, and then from there, I transferred to St. James School of Medicine, specifically St. Vincent and the Grenadines. One of the reasons why I wanted to get into medicine was because I wanted to be a community leader. Um, I understand that usually, you know, most of the time you see doctors as the uh, ones who advocate for uh, health, for globalization of health and providing um, benefit to those who are usually underserved. And that's one of the things that I want to do. I want to reach out and provide my help or provide help as much as I can uh, to as many people. Um, me, myself, not coming from a very, a very privileged um, position, I want to help out all those that are underserved um, and they don't have access to healthcare like everybody else. I was in my third year and I went into a a uh, little bit of a conference of sorts where they spoke about medical schools. And I saw a booth for a uh, Caribbean medical school. Um, they weren't St. James, unfortunately, but what it did was it opened up my eyes to see that there is another avenue for me to be able to achieve my dream. So once I started searching for the Caribbean medical school that I met at the, uh, at the conference, uh, St. James advertisement showed up on my uh, on Google and then from there I checked it out uh, and what I found and I loved most about it which made it a big uh, difference between all the other schools was the fact that it was the most affordable one um, and that was my biggest takeaway from it because I knew the school was accredited from all of the information they provided uh, but I needed something that wouldn't damage my wallet because everything was going to be paid uh, by my family and again you know uh, it's not like we're very well off and so we needed to figure out something that would be affordable. When I went to St. Vincent, it was culturally very different, but the best thing about Canada uh, and upbringing in Canada was the fact that it was very multicultural and that allowed me to kind of engross myself very easily, very quickly. Um, yes, there were some things that were a bit different. Uh, such as, you know, the <laughs> simplest things uh, that now we think about like phone bills, internet, electricity, all that was something I had to manage on my own. And I think one of the things that helped me a lot was the fact that I went to uh, university for my undergrad away from my family. And that was a little bit of a, let's say, a preschool with training wheels to get trained to go to a Caribbean island on my own and kind of survive on my own. The program itself, you know, they said it was very accelerated. Um, in the beginning, I thought it might be a little accelerated, but then I, you know, compared it to uh, American and Canadian medical schools, and they usually are roughly around the same four years. Uh, so I figured if a medical graduate from US or Canada can do it in four years, I can absolutely do it too in four years. And that was the whole, uh, that was the whole length of the program and basic sciences on the island, they were accelerated in the sense that, you know, one was after one semester went off to the next uh, with, with the one week break in between. Um, but I, I found what helped me the most to cope with all of this material, all of this information, was the fact that uh, you gotta take it one step at a time. Uh, I took my courses uh, week by week basis, the material that was given to me on a week by week basis rather than trying not to, trying to put it off till the exam time. I studied every day after, after school and that actually helped me not have so much distress over when exams time came out. So the island, basic sciences, it was, uh, it was really nice. And the best part about it was the fact that after your exams were done from all that stress, uh, I would just go to the beach right after and enjoy that day to kind of de-stress after I've been through such a difficult exam. And that was the perfect combination for me. You know, there was obviously, you gotta have a lot of work to do, but then you can also balance it with a little bit of leisure activities. Um, when I came to Chicago to do my clinical rotations, uh, that was really interesting too, because I got to visit many hospitals. Matter of fact, I was able to go to like four or five hospitals 
just to do my all my rotations of core. And I think that provided me a little insight of how each hospital operated, provided a little bit of uh, insight into how the different administrations and the EMRs that were being used. And that was really amazing because that kind of gave me skills that I use that I'm going to be using in my residency. So I believe my bachelor's in neuroscience definitely did provide me a, uh, a lot of foundation that I took into medical school. Matter of fact, when we did our neurology course, I think it, you know, it, I was easily, um, you know, reminded of the things that I've already been taught. It was relearning the same thing that I already knew. And that was fantastic because it was one of the courses that I TA'd in after once I completed it because to me, it just came so naturally through the rigorous process of my undergrad. Once I graduated from St. James School of Medicine, it was at the start of 2022, and I knew that I had a long time before the match starts for in September. So I knew that I needed to fill that time with something valuable, something that provided me with, um, you know, uh, some skills that I could utilize in my interviews and in my future residency and given me some experience in the inside within the medical realms instead of doing something outside of the medical field. And uh, luckily, St. James School of Medicine had opening positions for counseling, and I thought that would be the perfect way to keep my knowledge up to date and at the same time build, a, build connections uh, in the U.S. with a lot of the doctors that are affiliated with St. James. And so when I heard that there was a vacancy, I uh, spoke with the previous counselors and I asked them if I can if I can apply and get this position and after multiple interviews I was glad that I was able to land the position. The rotations that I had were really uh, re re each one was amazing. Each doctor provided great teaching and uh, teaching material insights into how what to do in his field and from that I was able to make my decision and pick the specialties that I wanted to go into. So I believe the things that helped me become successful in this uh, match, uh, match uh, was the fact that one of the things that I was doing while being part of a US Army counseling position was that to create and uh, run the interview uh, training program for our students because I wanted uh, I wanted there to be improvement in the overall school's performances and in, in, in matches. And I thought, what's better to, what's, what's the best, what's the area that almost any student says that they may have difficulty in? Interview process. And so we came, we came up with the boot camp and that creation of that boot camp made me sit there every day, try to figure out how I can answer the questions and then teach other individuals that in a way just helped me learn how to interview myself and be confident in my own ability to be able to talk about my own self. So that was one of the biggest things that provided me an edge. And I believe it provided the other students an extra edge because the information that I learned, I just relayed to the students while I was doing the boot camp for. The week, week or weeks prior to the match, I remember I was just being very stressed. Um, you know, the I was glad that I had everybody at the in the office. You know, be supportive. I remember going to everybody's desk and just randomly start, starting a conversation about the most randomest thing. And they knew that I was stressing about the match, so they would, you know, speak with me in turn. Um, but they would know that I'm just there because I'm trying to get my mind away from the stressful match day results uh i the nights were tough the days going home after work were tough because you have to be on your own but what i what i did best and kind of helped me throughout is uh i do uh, i take muay thai classes and that actually helped me a lot because i could just you know uh go a little for an hour punch a punching bag just give myself a little bit of physical stress relief and that kind of helped me cope with uh any anxiety feelings that i've had prior to the match day I woke up very early that day. Uh, I just couldn't sleep the night before. I even like I tried everything. I even told Alexa play some rain soothing sounds. Nothing was helping. I woke up early in the morning uh, and I said, all right, you know, uh, how do I kill time till then? I watched TikToks. I was uh, reading random news things. on. I don't even know why I was on CNN, 
I was trying to figure out maybe somewhere there might be some match information out there. Uh, then, you know, as it approached, I believe here in Chicago was eight o'clock as the time was approaching, uh, sorry, nine o'clock it was. As the time approached, I was like, okay, I went and made coffee. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go sit by my desk. Uh, you know, I'm gonna take a read. I, you know, was about, I, I had my parents' number right on my phone so I could give them a call, you, whatever the results will be, so some support can be given to me. Uh, and then as I sat down, I, I saw the email at uh, eight, it was two minutes prior to when they actually said they would release the information. And when I saw the first three letters of C-O-N, congratulations, I was stoked. I was really happy. Um, uh, you know, I became a little, I, I wouldn't say I teared up or I cried, but I definitely felt a little bit of something in the back of my throat. And uh, it was a great experience. So, uh, you know, just looking at that email, I finally realized that all the hard work over the past four years of medical school and the past four years of undergraduate school, uh, all of them kind of paid off with one email and one sentence which said congratulations you have matched into to uh, and went to your, one of your programs so um it was a it was a surreal moment i still can't believe i'm in this position at the moment just so happy um it was it was the best feeling i don't i don't know how else to describe it that moment uh i think we as medical students we work really hard for that one moment that comes at the end of your journey that just says you've matched and that's all we are looking for throughout our whole journey. Four or five years ago, if you were to tell me, Saad, you could become a doctor one day and you can see yourself being able to help patients get better, get, get educated in about their own health, um, I wouldn't believe you. Matter of fact, when I started medical school, I took a gamble on myself thinking, if I can do it, uh, if I can pass through my first year of classes, I'm gonna stick to it, but I'm gonna give it my 100%. And if I don't pass it, I'm just gonna call it quits and go into a different field, perhaps do a master's in neuroscience. But that was what I wanted to do. I said, you're gonna take a chance, but you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have to work hard. That's what I said to myself. Take a chance, but work hard for the first year. And if it's for you, you're gonna pass. If it's not for you, you're not gonna pass, and that's okay. And that kind of just, took away all the stress from my stress for me. I knew that, you know, I'm going to give it my best. If I can make it, I can make it. If I don't make it, that's okay. I'm still going to be me the next next year. And I'm so happy that I was able to overcome it. Uh, I never thought about that I would be that student who could sit in a library or sit study all day long. But I was able to do it because I was driven. I was motivated. I wanted to learn. And now look now looking back, I can't believe that I'm at this position. But uh, now I can believe it. Now, if you ask me, can you do this four years again? And you know, with this being the result, hands down, easily, that will be the bet I'll take any day. But you told, you tell me, you asked me that same bet when I first started medical school. It was a very tough, tough pill to swallow. But I'm glad I'm, I, I, I'm glad I took it, and I'm glad I doubled down on myself. Throughout my journey through medical school, there weren't, there weren't any specific let's say moments that where i thought i couldn't do it there was a constant fear that perhaps this is not i'm not going to be able to do make it perhaps this is not for me and you're always going to have that fear but the truth is that you just have to keep working hard and that's how i was able to cope with it uh i knew that the fear was the lack of knowledge how to fill that gap gain knowledge uh it's easier said but what you do is you just put your uh, put your head down, get into your studies, do what you can to learn the material. Uh, whatever is the toughest thing for you, try to learn that the most. Try to figure out how and why is this so difficult for you. And that's what I did. There were things for me in medical school that I was so... Pharmacology was one of the toughest subjects for me when I walked in. But at the end of it, I was so happy that I pushed myself to do well. Instead of giving up on it, I just said, well, I'm going to try to push myself, see where it takes me. And even after I push it, if I fail it, all right, I've given it up, everything. But if I don't, I'm never, I'm forever going to be resentful and say, maybe I could have done something different. So my advice and the way I coped with, you know, at any moment feeling like, oh, I can't do it. 
I just said, I just rolled up my sleeves and I said, all right, what can I do to change that? What can I do right now to make a difference? And those little moments, I'm glad they added up and they made a difference at the end.